hi, this is Robert Woodruff with the Keys to Cashflow, uh, thekeystocashflow.com. But what we're about to do right now is cover the 10 questions that if you were an expert, you would know to be asking right now. But since you are, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them out there and we're gonna cover it all. Number one is, if I can get started right now mobile home investing, then why should I go and buy the course? Or buy any course for that fact. Why don't I just go out and do it myself right now? But here's your answer, okay? The things that you learn the most about in this business and will remember, cost you money. That's a secret, right there. It costs you money every time you make a mistake. So, you think about it this way. Either you can get a blueprint or a guide or get the owner's manual on how to do this, or you can just go out like I had to do and you can stumble and fall over and over again and pay you know, twice as much as what the, the course amounts to uh, just through Gulliver's Travels. So what you wanna do is, is find yourself a decent mentor, get a nice course, my course preferably, of course, since I'm the one here giving the speech today, <laughs> but uh, covering the questions. But generally, get yourself a course so that you don't have to make the same mistakes that somebody else does. And, and that's huge. It's like experience. It's like getting experience. You're paying for the experience, but everybody pays for experience, it, it, whether you're buying the information off of somebody else or whether you gotta go out and make a mistake yourself. So you often find that if you can learn from other people's mistakes, then you're gonna save a lot of money. Okay, so that's why you get the course. Will mobile home investing make me a millionaire overnight? No, not at all. The, this is no get-rich-quick scheme. Though you can uh, obtain your financial freedom and develop a better quality of life for you and your family. No problem whatsoever. I mean, think all the time that you'll have when you get a bunch of post office paychecks coming into your post office every month. All you gotta do is go pick them up. If somebody didn't pay, just go file eviction on them. It's that easy. Uh, so no, it won't make you a millionaire overnight. But what mobile home investing does do is it helps you build monthly passive income through cash flow. So uh, even though you're not gonna become a millionaire overnight, building that cash flow will help you uh, do bigger deals. Uh, can mobile home investing be used as a springboard to larger investments? Yes, it can. Nobody says that you've gotta be a mobile home investor for the rest of your life. As a matter of fact, the, the to, to opt the term mobile home investor is just silly to me. Mobile home investing is a strategy. It's not a profession. It's a strategy. So you use the strategy until you can afford to do bigger, larger strategy, strategies. It's just that easy. Question number four, will what I learned while mobile home investing apply towards any other type of investing? And the answer is absolutely. Uh, mobile home investing as investing in single mobile homes teaches you so much. It teaches you about motivated sellers, it teaches you about advertising, it teaches you about closing a deal, it, it shows you how to deal with buyers and sellers, uh, how to negotiate on both sides. Um, even though you get into the internet marketing and, and a little bit of everything, I mean, I tell you, it really goes a long ways. And then everything that you're gonna learn in mobile home investing goes for commercial properties, which are mobile home parks and self storage and home health care, durable medical equipment offices. There's a number of different businesses out there that are commercial and that are passive. There's other businesses as well, like resorts and hotels, and motels, and basically this is just a, a springboard to get towards those larger investments. Um, so yes, you will learn a lot with mobile home investing that's gonna to apply towards everything else that you do. And it's really funny because you don't understand how much of it applies until you move into these other forms of investing. As soon as you're ready for that, I highly suggest you do. Question five, can I achieve financial freedom through mobile home investing? Of course you can, this isn't rocket science. It just comes down to collecting a bunch of assets. The assets pay you every single month. So the more assets you have, the more you get paid. And it comes into a post office box. So I call them post office paychecks. You just go and pick them up. Somebody didn't pay you, you file eviction. Okay, it's easy, easy. Of course you can. You can achieve your financial freedom, you can improve your quality of life, or AKA standard of living for you and your family. How do I locate the best mobile home deals? Well, uh, we as mobile home investors cater to motivated mobile home sellers. So, 
we're looking for Judy or Donna or, or Tim or Angie or whoever's out there who's got a mobile home and they need to give it away right now. They're tired of paying lot rent. Maybe the thing's uh, up to date on the mortgage payments. Maybe it's behind three months. Either way, we can go out, we can help them out, and nobody else is going to do that for them. You're not going to find many realtors that are going to do this. Unless there's some realtors watching this video, then get the keys to cash flow. We're going to show you how to open up a whole new market there. A lot of cash flow that you're missing out on. All right? How easy are mobile homes to fix versus stick built properties? Uh, smaller square footage equals smaller amount of work time, smaller labor, smaller materials, all the way around. So they're quicker, easier to fix, faster to get onto the market, and it's easier to find a buyer. How easy is it to find a buyer versus stick built homes? Okay, we've all, for the experienced investors out there who's already flipped, you understand how tough it is. Sometimes that buyer will come in, they'll, they'll, they'll criticize every little thing about the property. Even if it's a nice property, maybe that's just their style of trying to get a good deal. But you gotta go through that and then they'll, they'll ask for the refrigerator. And after the refrigerator, then it'll be uh, closing costs. And before too long, they'll want the tires off your car and the shirt off your back, okay? And when it comes down to mobile homes, this is not the case. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, my experience as a flipper, a lot of times you run into the, the people who are just going to still want the shirt off your back. But the mobile home folks, these folks come in and they can't go get conventional financing anywhere. They are happy, more than happy for the opportunity to own a home, especially if you're doing a rent to own. So you're not going to have any trouble out of them. More than likely what's going to happen is they're going to be extremely thankful. Now, it's, it's a very different feeling from selling a house to somebody that's a stick built house or selling a mobile home to somebody. Trust me, it's a lot more. I get so much more out of it when the person knows that it's a great deal and they're thanking me for it. What's the best way to buy a mobile home? That's question number nine. Okay, cash is always king, flat out, okay? but. When we're talking about trying to achieve our financial freedom, we want to pile up as many assets as we can. So really what it is, is it's a mad dash to the finish line. And the first finish line would be our financial freedom. So we want to go out and we want to buy as many as we can. Of course we want to buy with cash, but if we're using cash all the time, we're going to run out of our cash, aren't we? Of course we are. So if you can go out and you can get no money down deals, two or three of those, and you can go ahead and put three or four more notches on your bedpost just like that, well, aren't you gonna do it? If you know that those deals are gonna pay you out within 12 to 24 months, of course. You know, you want, you want a, a real diverse spread of all types of deals like that. You know, ones that are gonna be giving you money now, ones that are gonna be giving you money in six months, ones that are gonna be paying you off in 24 months. You know, sometimes it's those ones that you gotta wait 24 months just to get paid on that are gonna be the ones that are gonna pay you four, 450 per month, right? Question number 10, and this is the last question that you should be asking but don't know how to. What's the best way to sell a mobile home? Okay, well, think about it. If we're selling a whole bunch of them for cash all year long, then we're gonna need a dealer's license. We're gonna be subject to their rules and regulations, correct? Absolutely. So, we don't really wanna be selling a whole bunch of them for cash unless we just need that extra bump of money for, you know, to, to get us along if we need it. Uh, so what's the best way to sell a mobile home? Bar none, rent to own. Why, 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 why is that owner finance the best one? Well, owner finance, we gotta foreclose on them. You don't wanna foreclose on somebody, do you? It's gonna take a long time to get them out. Uh, that's a lot of money that you're not gonna be receiving. So, what do we do? We rent to own it. It's the best way to do it. Somebody's gonna give you some money down. It's gonna be a non-refundable deposit. Uh, you know, if they mess up the property, you got plenty of money. If they decide to stop paying, they leave, you find somebody else. Bar none, rent to own is the best way to do it. If you wanna know how to rent to own mobile homes, I am the expert in this field. My name is Robert Woodruff, or Woody, and you can find me at www.thekeystocashflow.com. Again, that's www.thekeys to cashflow.com. All right, thank you for joining me today. 
Have a wonderful day. Make sure you pick up this course. Let's start earning your financial freedom. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.